this all. Ah, too easy. There's something down there. Phoenix saw the minions of Typhon had cornered the stranger, leaving no escape. This would be her greatest battle yet. Oh, I hope the stranger dies! If I had wanted to hurt you, I could just as easily come and stab you back there. True that. So, I'm going to go. Phoenix. Unique name. Appreciate the assistance, Phoenix. Nice bracelets. Thanks. I'm on my way to the Temple of Apollo to see the Oracle. Me too. Ha! It's right over there. Oh, great. I can use all the help I can get. We should go to... Hey, where did you go? My bracers! That rotten little thief! I saved you! As Phoenix traveled through the underworld, her thoughts turned toward her mother and father. Were they safe in Argos? Had they too been transformed? Phoenix Ford, couldn't help. A but... huge monster appears! Wow. It's ginormous, but Phoenix just laughs. No! So you want to dance, huh? <laughs> Perfect. The adorable monster was ever so playful. Everything she had prayed for to take her mind off her worries. It was a gift from Olympus she would treasure forever. Deep within her vulnerable, yet ever expanding. Ah, fine, have it your way. Just don't make me vomit. Phoenix faced the monster, ready. The monster attacked. Thank <laughs> you. 
This was Aeolus's jar. I thought it would be a jar with the God of Winds on it, not in it. This little thing can't contain the wind. That's impossible. Phoenix looked at the top of the observatory tower. The planetaria could be seen. Planetary could be what? Uh, it depicts yes. the orbit of planets, and you know what? Never mind. 